play time until you finish your breakfast, okay? So this will be the last video we record in while staying at the Maritime Suites in the Jelatong area of Georgetown in Penang. So we both, well, all three of us have thoroughly enjoyed living in the area but also looking forward to moving on to Tanjung Tokong which you'll see in future videos. Um, but we thought we'd go through some of the pros and cons of staying in this area and also staying at the Maritime Suites. Pro is definitely walking along the water's edge, um, watching all the fishermen boats and down to the jetty, um, except that it doesn't really have a breeze, we noticed, but it is just beautiful walking along this area every day. Yeah, we've loved the view, obviously. <laughs> we show a lot of the view from our apartment, 
uh, but coming down to the waterfront is uh, it's just really nice I mean you do get a little bit of rubbish that washes up we've seen on the shoreline uh, which is unfortunate but is something that you just I guess get a lot of unfortunately in a lot of the places we've seen and traveled through Asia in particular um, but it's actually not too bad I would yeah. say it's I would say it's pretty good yeah certainly been to a lot worse places it's more in the water the paths and everything are kept really clean um, yeah it's just rubbish washing up in the water we also don't see many foreigners in this area which has also been really nice just walking around the locals are so friendly um the food in the area is like good, good. choices um yeah. so this is the gelatong fisherman's wharf which um, we only recently discovered and we all really like it um they've got a delicious coconut milkshake <laughs> and lots of little stalls to choose from from thai food uh, a lot of seafood, obviously, as we guess the fishermen boats pull in here, but uh, everything seems to have a bit of a seafood option. Although you also just get uh, oh, everything, Middle Eastern, sort of dessert. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruits and drinks and a uh, good spot to come down and just have a cold drink and, and stare out over the strait across to Butterworth. And uh, one of our favourite is, is the mantis prawn that you can see here which you don't really see elsewhere a lot but we've only seen in really Malaysia I think we've only seen them yeah um, um, Luke they, thinks they're pretty cool they taste good <laughs> <laughs> but no we've this little spot here is one area that we think we'll probably make the trip to come back to just because uh, there are just a lot of cheap food options uh, you're looking about sort of two to three dollars for the dishes that you see here and it's just relaxing. It's also open air and it is warm, but they have fans and you get uh, a little bit of a breeze. Um, and they, it's just a nice walk. They also bring all the food to you. So you get to order it, but they um, bring it to your table, which is unusual for an open air place. Yeah, it's just a good setup. And also looking forward to coming back and just walking along the Esplanade. As for Maritime Suites itself, uh, you've seen all the good bits. Here's some of the ugly bits. <laughs> The gym is looks cool in photos, but it's quite small, and they always keep the air conditioning off. And you can see around the pool area is just run down and not particularly well looked after. And I guess that's the sense that we get from the building, even though our apartment is pretty good. Um, but there is just a sense that it's been let go. There's sort of the boards around the pool. There's holes in it that these guys are trying to fix up. And even in the apartment itself, there's just little things that uh, holes in the walls next to powerpoints and sticky bits on the window that are uh, very clearly difficult to get off and just sort of take away from the, the Instagram-ness of it all. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what we are showing you here really is the worst of yeah. the apartment. Um, but anyone looking at coming to Maritime Suites, we're just hoping that we can sort of give a bit more of an indication of what to expect. But it's been really cool staying here. Um, these are some of the restaurants right at the bottom um, of Maritime Suites that we like to come and hang out at. Um, Luke loved the ramen. Um, Nathan and I are a big fan of the um, barbecue bar. So that's where you will have seen already with the meat on sticks and vegetables on sticks and they put it on the grill in front of you. Um, bonjour was a regular for all of us. Luke loves the pasta. We like the hot chips and beer. Um, and again, you're just overlooking that view that we've really grown to love around here. The people are so friendly. Um, everyone's really inviting. Everyone looks after us. They go out of their way for Luke. Um, so it's been really welcoming and I think we will miss this area, but we are very excited to explore a new area. Yeah. Uh, it's just the accessibility of everything here. Uh, we know we're not going to get this many choices where we're going. Uh, and we've actually had quite a few locals ask us what, what it's like. Uh, I'm guessing certain, you know, it's like anywhere you live somewhere and you don't necessarily get across the other side of town too much. And and uh, we've really just, we've liked it. We, if you're thinking of coming and, and you're looking for somewhere to stay. Uh, Maritime Suites is fantastic, I would say, to stay for a week or two. Uh, I probably wouldn't stay much longer than that. Um, and that'll give you, you just have so many choices of restaurants, right? And cafes. Yeah. Right it's, at the bottom of the of the buildings. Especially if you're like a younger couple as well. There's actually a lot of bars and nightlife that goes on on the Friday, Saturday, Sunday evenings. Um, 
and even like they have an outdoor aerobics class on the weekends as well um and it's still great for families but i think the younger generation would like it a whole lot more here that seems to be a lot more of the demographic around here as well really cool car scene too even the first night we were here there were 50 porsches parked in the car park at the base base of our building which is awesome and i get they do a lot of uh, car meets here and we've seen a lot of really nice cars here and uh having said that we are very much looking forward to uh, where we're going next and looking forward to sharing that with everybody as well because it's uh, pretty incredible too yeah so that's us that's it for maritime sweets that's it for joe tong um it's been wonderful to be here though we really enjoyed it yeah yeah So we just went to the family mart and Nathan found some black forest sandwiches. They have other flavors and he has said that he has wanted to try them. So now I'm the one trying them. Um, so here we go. From what I can see, it looks like it's got a chocolate mousse, a cream and some tin cherries in it and a chocolate bread. All right. This, would they see my motorbike flying? What do you think? It doesn't have a huge amount of flavor. It has a really nice texture. The bread is definitely chocolatey. It's definitely really soft. Um, but so not bad, but not amazing. I like it. I'd get it again, um, but it doesn't have a huge hit of flavor, which is probably what's so good about it, except for the bread. Like the bread is super chocolatey and it's kind of like a cloud. It's really soft, really fluffy. You want to try it? Yes. <laughs> I didn't even have a chance. I don't like it. Okay. Okay.